Hello everyone, FedEx Gaming here, and welcome back to another Redstone tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing you how to build a 4x4 vault door that is only too wide. Now, I actually got this idea from Skippy6 Gaming because I was looking up Fallout 4 videos because that's what I've been mainly playing a lot lately is a lot of Fallout 4, and I haven't been really doing too much Redstone because I've just been bored of it. Okay, so I'm rambling right now, but I decided to make a 4x4 vault door that is only too wide, and you also only have to dig down two for it as well. So if I flip down this lever right here, our vault door opens up. And then when I flip up the lever, our vault door closes. Now, of course, on the opposite hand side, we can see some of the redstone. So for anyone who doesn't want to see any of the redstone, I do have a three wide version right here that I'll be showing at the end. It's just a little bit of an add on, which will add another vault door to the backhand side. So as you can see, if I flip down this lever, our vault door opens up, flip it up and it closes. And then on this side as well, we have another vault door, flip it down, it opens up and flip it up and it closes and of course I will also show how to make a button for this so you don't have to use a lever but enough rambling let's go ahead and start building this 4x4 or 4x4 vault door all right guys so for this build you're going to need a 14 by 2 spacing and you're also going to have to dig down too now the resources you're going to need for this build are 22 sticky pistons two hoppers two redstone comparators eight redstone repeaters two redstone torches two droppers and not dispensers 40 redstone one lever five stone slabs now before we jump into this build just giving you a heads up this is going to be the front of your vault door just giving a heads up unless you're going to be doing the three y one at the end and it doesn't really matter but right here this is going to be the front of it so once you have gotten your 14 by 2 spacing and you have dug down your two come to the bottom left hand corner and what we're going to do is count over six blocks so one two three four five six and then from this block we're going to place in four sticky pistons facing upward so one two three four and then place your blocks of choice on top of them so i'm going to be using quartz blocks for my entire vault door so one two three four just like that then we're going to swing over to this side now off the second one to the left we're going to place in a block and then just break down these two blocks and place a lever right here this is just to test out your door while you are building the entire thing because any power going into this block right here will open and close your vault door Next, what I want you to do is place two pieces of redstone dust off the side of these blocks and then off the right one next to this piston, we're going to place in another block. So that should activate all of our sticky pistons. So flip down the lever, all of our sticky pistons go up and then flip up the lever and all of your sticky pistons should retract back down. So we're going to start with doing the left hand side because both sides are exactly the same. They are just mirrored on both sides. So what we're going to do is place down a block next to this piece of redstone dust and then put a repeater going this way on one tick delay. Next, place a block in front of your repeater with a piece of redstone dust in front of it, a piece of redstone dust going up towards the front hand side, and then put a block over here in the corner with another piece of redstone dust like that. Then we're gonna come over four blocks from here going back towards our sticky piston. So one, two, three, four, and then place redstone dust along all four of your blocks. Then in front of this piece of redstone dust, we're gonna place in a block of choice. You will be able to see this block. Then off the second piece of redstone dust from the right hand side, so one, two, we're going to place in two sticky pistons facing towards this block. So one, two, and then put two more in front of them. One, two, and that's going to be our double piston extender. And then right next to the front hand side sticky pistons, we're going to place another row like this and then put blocks of choice in front of all of them. And then if you want to, you can also place some blocks of choice down here and then two more up here as well. So it should look something like this. Next up, what we're going to do is come to the corner of all of these sticky pistons and place in a block right in the corner with a piece of redstone dust on top of the block. Then we're going to come down a block from here. So we're just going to come right underneath it with another block and then place a repeater going into this block on one tick delay. Next up, we're going to put a block right behind these two sticky pistons with a repeater going into these two sticky pistons right here on three ticks delay. Next up, we're going to place slabs right behind both of these repeaters upside down. So place a slab here any slab here next place a block right on top of this slab with another slab upside down to the left hand side of that block next take out your redstone dust and place redstone along all the tops of your slabs then right next to this redstone dust we're going to come out two blocks going this way so you can literally just come right over here to this redstone dust and come up two blocks one two just like that and then place a piece of redstone dust on top of this block and then coming off the top of this block we're going to place another repeater going this way on one tick delay so it should look something like that Next, place a block in front of your one tick delay repeater. So one, two, you can break this block. It is not needed. Swing over to this side and then on top of your double piston extender right here, we're going to place another block with a piece of redstone dust like this. Next, come out three blocks from here. So one, two, and three. And then we're going to take out our comparators and our hoppers and our droppers to make ourselves a falling edge hopper dropper monostable circuit. So going into this piece of redstone dust, we're going to place our comparator going that way. 
And then we're going to come over one block with our dropper. Make sure it is a dropper, not a dispenser. And then we're going to take out our hoppers, go into sneak mode, and place in a hopper going into the side of your dropper. Then go inside of your dropper and place in one item. I'm going to be using redstone, so just place one item inside of it. And then break the two blocks underneath these two. So one, two. Make sure you break those blocks. And that should be one whole side completely done. Well, almost done. So next, what we're going to do is place a piece of redstone dust on top of this block. That is in front of our one tick delay repeater. And then we're going to come over two more blocks so we can go ahead and put all these away. We don't need these until we do the other side. We're going to come over two blocks from this piece of redstone dust going next to this dropper. So one, two. And then we're going to place a redstone torch coming off the side of this block right next to our dropper. You heard it activate. And then we're going to place in two more pieces of redstone dust. And that should be one whole side completely done. So if I come over here and I flip down my lever, the whole entire side should extend out. And then if I flip up the lever, the entire side retracts back into the wall. So I'll do it one more time. Flip down your lever. Everything extends. And then flip up the lever and everything should retract back into your wall. So now we're going to do the same thing we just did here on this side as well. It's going to just be a little bit different, but that's only the bottom part right here. So coming out of this block right here, we're going to place in a repeater going this way on one tick delay. Place a block in front of your repeater. Put a piece of redstone dust next to the block. A block up from your redstone dust with another piece of redstone dust. And then we're going to place in four blocks from here. So one, two, three, four. And then place in four pieces of redstone dust along all of them. Next, take out your blocks of choice and place in a block of choice right in front of this redstone dust. You will be able to see it. And then off the second piece of redstone dust, we're going to do the same thing we did here on this side as well. We're going to place in two sticky bits in. So one, two, and then two more in front of them, just like that. And then come to this side and place in two more sticky pistons. And then take out your blocks of choice and fill in the entire wall with your blocks of choice. Two more up here as well. Next up, we're going to swing back over here. And in the corner of all your sticky pistons, place in a block with a piece of redstone on top of it. Then we're going to come down a block and place in a repeater going into this block on one tick delay. Then we're going to put a block next to these two sticky pistons and put another repeater going into these two on three ticks delay. Next, place a block right behind your one tick delay repeater and then place a slab upside down in the back of this three tick delay repeater. Place a block on top of it with another slab upside down. Make sure you break that block and then place in redstone dust along all of these blocks. Next, we're going to come out two blocks from here once again. So one, two, place a piece of redstone dust up here with a repeater going this way on one tick delay. Next, place a block in front of your one tick delay repeater. You can break that block, it is no longer needed. And then place a block right above your double piston extenders with a piece of redstone dust on top of it. Then take out your blocks and come out three blocks here. One, two, three. Now we're going to need our hoppers and our droppers and our comparator. And we're gonna place a comparator going into this redstone dust right here. Place a dropper one block away facing towards your comparator and then put a hopper going into your dropper. Go inside of your dropper and place in one item. I'm going to be using redstone and then go ahead and break the two blocks underneath it. Make sure you break those blocks. Then we're going to come back over here and above this block that's in front of our one tick delay repeater. Place in a piece of redstone dust and then we're going to come two blocks out towards your dropper. So take out your blocks once again. We no longer need any of this and we're going to come out two blocks from here. So one, two, place redstone dust on top of both of them and then put a torch to the side. And that should be this entire side completely done as well. So when I flip down the lever, everything closes. And then when I flip up the lever, everything retracts back into our wall. So I'll do it one more time. Everything extends out and then flip it up and everything retracts back into your wall. Now, all that is left is this top area and will be completely done. So take out your blocks of choice and just fill in blocks of choice coming from this block all the way to the other side. Then in the middle, four blocks, we're going to have to place in sticky pistons facing downward. So just come up two blocks, break this block right here, and place a sticky piston down off the top of that block. We can break this block. It's no longer needed. And then place in three more sticky pistons going along the top areas in between the middle. So right there, as you see, we have four sticky pistons facing downwards in the middle. Next up, we're going to come a block up next to the side sticky pistons and put redstone dust on top of both of them. So one here and one here. And then right here, we're going to come out one more piece of redstone dust. Come up a block of choice right here on both sides with two blocks in the middle and place in redstone dust here and here just like that. And we are completely done, guys. So that should be your entire vault door completely done. So if I flip down this lever, the vault door closes. And then if I flip up the lever, the vault door opens up. So now all we have to do is just clean it up. So place in two more blocks right here and then place in your flooring blocks down here as well. So that is our entire cleaned up vault door. And then what I like to do on the front hand side of my vault door is place a nice little black border around it. You do not have to do this, but I just like the black border. I think it looks really nice. So when I flip down this lever and I look from the other side, our front of our vault door, as you can see, it looks very, very nice with that black board. So if all you wanted was this one sided vault door, you are completely done. If you know how to make your own button, then you are completely 
completely done. However, I'm going to show how to make it so you can have a vault door on the other side as well. And I'm also going to show how to hook up a button to it as well. So we're going to do a swing over to this side once again. And we're going to have to break out these blocks right here. So one, two, one, two, one, two. And we're going to have to get rid of this lever as well. So before we actually start putting in our door, since we're going to have now a vault door on both sides, what you're going to have to do is break down underneath this block right here and place in a redstone torch underneath this block like that so as you can see our door just activated so now any power going to the block that this redstone torch is on top of will activate our door so just giving a heads up make sure to place in that redstone torch so you know exactly where you're gonna have to send power to this block right here once we are done so now next to all of these pieces we're going to place in four more sticky pistons they should all extend up so one two three and four and then we're going to place in our blocks of choice above all of them so take out your blocks of choice and place in four like that so as you can see that's already the bottom half of our other side vault door then right over here we're going to put in two sticky pistons off these two right here so one two the first one should extend out but we're actually going to you know get rid of that sticky piston just for now we're going to come out a block right here above this one that should be next to your comparator so place a block right here and put a piece of redstone dust on top of it and then go ahead and place in your sticky pistons as you can see they both extend it out and then place in your blocks of choice on the sides of them so there's one whole side done and do the same thing on this side where your comparator is where this piece of redstone dust is come out one extra block place a piece of redstone dust here and then place two sticky pistons facing outwards from here so place in one and two and there we have another side completely done so now all we have to do is this top area so this is going to change up just a tiny bit so we're going to place in our four sticky pistons facing downwards so one two three four just like that and then place in your blocks of choice on all of them and now what we're going to do is break all of this right here so we're going to break all of these well actually you can leave these two blocks here leave these two blocks break this redstone dust here and then we're going to place in blocks going all along the sides here and then place in redstone dust in the middle now what you want to do is do not connect these two together do not connect these two together or else it will ruin one of the sides of the vault but there you guys have it there is the other side vault door in case you wanted it on both sides now we can go ahead and put a border on this side as well there we go so it looks nice so now any power like i said any power going down to that block where that redstone torch is will activate it so any power going to this block right here boop as you see our vault door opens up oh you know what we also have to clean in the inside so boom and do and also clean up this side as well there we go and then when we flip up the lever everything should close so it closes and flip it down and it opens up so now i'm going to show you how to hook up a button to this thing so you don't have to use a lever so to hook up our button all we're going to need is a simple mono stable circuit so we're going to break this lever right here and we're just going to place in a piece of redstone dust next to the block that has our torch so it's very simple to make a mono stable circuit all we're going to do is just place a redstone block anywhere near this piece of redstone dust it really doesn't matter just make sure it is activating as you can see it's activating it because the redstone dust is going into the block and then we're going to place a sticky piston one block away from it so we'll place a sticky piston like that and now what we're going to do is just break out a few more blocks like this there we go let's get rid of all these blocks and then what i want you to do is place a repeater going into the side of this sticky piston then we're going to put a normal piston facing upwards behind your repeater with a sand block on top of it next up we're going to put any power going into this sand block and you will be completely done so you know what let's come uh let's go this way let's just go this way so we're going to come up with our blocks like this so just bring your redstone dust going all the way to the top like that there we go so now if i put a block right here like that and put a button if i click this button the door closes and if i click the button again the door opens up it's just a very simple mono stable circuit that will activate our door so click the button it closes click the button again and it opens up so now we want a button on the other side as well and i want it to be the same distance away from it as well so we're one two three four blocks away from it so let's count over four blocks one two three four so our button should be right here so let's place a block right here with our button so all we have to do is just send power from this button all the way down to this sand block right there so that is very simple to do all we have to do is just bring our power going into that sand block so we're just going to dig out a few more blocks let's find our sand block on this side so where is our there's our sand block right there so now all we have to do is just bring power going into that sand block so let's place in redstone dust going all the way over to there like that and we're just going to bring it up to our button so we're going to bring it all the way up here to this side button so boop 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 and boop and there we have a button on this side as well so if i click the button the door closes click the button again and the door opens up now just giving a heads up if you did the same thing here with redstone that i did you cannot place a block right here or else it will cut off the power and it will not work so all you have to do is just place in a slab so if i went ahead and grabbed a sandstone slab and just placed it like that as you can see it matches the floor and it still looks nice so if i click the button closes click the button again and it opens up and let's do the same thing on this side we're just going to fill in this entire thing with sandstone slabs because i don't feel like taking out the normal block 
there we go so click the button closes click the button again and it opens up so there you guys have it that is how you build a 4x4 or 4x4 vault door that is only too wide if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave it a like and subscribe stay tuned with my newest videos all right guys peace